Today, we're taking a food tour, where we're going to be able to explore the vibrant and delicious street food scene of Cebu City. Joining us on this culinary adventure are two food-loving travelers, Alice and George. Hailing from the UK, Alice and George are passionate foodies and seasoned travelers who love to explore new cultures through food. And this is the one and only Prue. Prue is a local food enthusiast with an extensive knowledge of the vibrant and diverse street food scene in Cebu City. She is passionate about sharing her love of food with others and providing a unique culinary experience to all who join her tours. different spring rolls. So what we have is the classic spring rolls which is made of uh, ground corn and a little bit of vegetables. So this is what we call lumpia. And then the second one this is uh, uh, Chinese noyo. So this is only uh, very popular in Cebu. So, Chinese uh, Chinese noyo. So it's N-G-O-H-I-O-N-G. And this is made of bamboo shoots and uh, five different spices. And then the third one, it's dynamite. So it's made of jalapeno with a little bit of cheese and ground corn. Lumpia. Lumpia. I was not expecting any heat on that at all. And it's actually got a slight little bit of heat. That's really good. The batter on it is so good. And this is the Chinese noyong. Uh, this is some spices and some palm shoots. Am I supposed to dip this one too? Yes, that's the sauce. They have a sweetness to them. Those are really good. It's only popular here in Cebu. Yeah, Shane, it's only popular here in Cebu. This is fantastic. And this is what they're calling dynamite. Apparently all it is is just like a deep fried battered jalapeno. But you guys know how I like my heat, so let's see if there's any spice to it. That's so good. It's a jalapeno, so there's not a whole lot of heat to them, but they are extremely tasty. The jalapenos themselves are very good. So what we will be having, what you will be having is the uh, beef soup or nilatan and then the chicken patter and uh, uh, chicharon bulakla that's a deep fried um, pork uh, raffle, uh, fat, uh, raffle fat and then you have the sea grapes right, this is a little bit exciting i've never had this type of soup before this is called nilatan and it's some squash i'm not sure exactly what the little greens are that are in this here so. who's hot Very nice though, a little bit of bitterness to it. Oh, it's good. You guys know the absolute love affair I have with pork here and a little chicharron here dipped in the soy sauce and vinegar and with chilies in it. I'm gonna say it again, like, can you really find a better piece of meat than anything pork? Whatever it is, pork. It's delicious. Oh, I'm taking a great big piece, so hopefully they don't get mad at me. <laughs> All right, and this little bit of stuff here is some sea grapes. It's refreshing. The last thing I gotta pull a little bit up with a spoon here. This is chicken potter. I have really no idea what it is, but let's try it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that is really good. Chicken liver, uh, chicken intestine, we have the chicken blood, and the famous uh, chorizo de salud. So I suggest as well, yes, you dip this in our uh, sausawan. So as what I've said, this is made of spice, vinegar, uh, um, soy sauce, and calamansi. Dip it in? Yes. Let's go for it. If I can get any sauce. All right, chicken liver. Let's push it up again. Ciao. Very tasty. Is it right? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. If you like pate, mm. you would love it as well. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. Yeah, because it's sort of. I like the burntness to the outside. It's very barbecue. Mm. All right, pork blood. Pork blood. Can it come off? No. Mm, big, big bite. Good job. Hmm. <laughs> it doesn't taste as much. Hmm. No. It. Hmm. You just don't want to think about blood, but it doesn't really taste too much. <laughs> okay. You've not given yeah. much away. Yeah. You don't seem to love it though. I don't love it, no. Right. I, mean, I don't love it. Mm, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> I think because it's like the same texture well, as the it. liver. But the liver's so much tastier. Yes. Mm. Alright, I wasn't taking part in any of the barbecues here because you guys have seen me eat enough of this stuff on camera. But this one, I have not had this before. This is just a barbecued pig's blood. Just cube, let's go. Boing. You guys are right. It's very bland. Not a whole lot of taste to it. You get a little bit of the little tiny bit of char from the barbecue on it, but yeah, it doesn't taste like a whole lot of anything. All right, this one I'm definitely taking part in. I've never had this before. This is, it's a Filipino chorizo. I don't know what makes it, this chorizo any different than any other chorizo, but. Oh. I know what makes it different. This is super sweet. So. Normally a chorizo's got a pretty deep flavor to it that happens with it. This is extremely sweet, but it's tasty. This is an ube opia. Uh, it's just a doughy type of cake stuffed full of ube. That's not bad. I have an observation here. So we got a little ube cake, and it's not nearly as sweet as that chorizo sausage was. This one is called masi. This is uh, basically a sticky rice that's stuffed with peanuts inside of it. Like a mochi. It's kind of tasty. Do you guys like these? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're doing another one here. This is an ube ensamada. <laughs> so good. The fluffiness, the sweetness of it, the ube is a beautiful touch on it. This is awesome. This one here is called Tahu. And if you guys watched our Malaysia videos, uh, it's the same thing as basically what tofu fa is in Malaysia. So sago, it's silken tofu, some little simple syrup topped off with some condensed milk. That is so good. 
That is ridiculously good. It's like uh, orange. Hey George, what do you think? That's good. Hi. Oh, and you're going to Palawan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Palawan. Not next week, but the week after. So this is what you call uh, larang soup or basically this is just a fish soup that is made of uh, porcupine fish there. Alright, this is uh, a little difficult right now because of how I have to turn. If I turn it any other way, the whole screen is going to go black. But I'm going to give just a little bit of a try to the broth here of this porcupine fish. That's not too shabby. So I'm going to turn here so you can see. Brew is over there. Hi. Just pulling the meat off of every, off of the whole piece of the fish carcass there for everybody so they can actually try it. So a little bit of the porcupine fish. So yeah, you definitely get the vinegar right off the bat with it. Just wanted to turn around here so you can see how dark this frame gets. That's good. That is a very tasty soup. And Brew was just telling us that one of the stalls over across the way there has already made three for the morning so far, and it's all sold out. Did you eat the, the whole pot? Yes. Okay. So the spoon will act as a knife. All right, before I eat this, this is one of the little shrimp pancakes here with some of the banana ketchup. I gotta say, George and Alice are great sports here. They are adventurous eaters, and they're willing to go after everything that's on the menu that Prue puts in front of them. Give them to me like in a potato chip bag. I'll eat them all day long. That's okay, Prue. I don't need I don't need a pusa. I've eaten a lot of it. Oh! Wow. So you just wait for a few seconds while it's thickens up, and then that's the time that you can um, dip the rice. I joined this food tour today for one reason and one reason only, and that is this, back behind me here. This is Tuslabua. This is the pig brain and liver, where they bring it up to a boil and you scrape the bubbles off at the top with a piece of puso and give it a try. Let's go. All right, so here it is. Let's give this a shot. That's delicious. Oh dear God. I need to get more on there because it can't double dip. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to lose it. Alright, I'm burning my fingers right now, but let's go. That is awesome. These two ladies back here are my new heroes in life. So this is the one that I couldn't eat, it looks like an omelette. Puso itlog. And uh, so it is not an omelette or a pancake. <laughs> Puso it log. Apparently it's egg and it's flour, but it's not a pancake and it's not an omelet. <laughs> oh, that is good. Did you dip that in the vinegar? No, not at all. All right, we're doing it again with some vinegar on it. Mm. I actually kind of like the flavor of it on its own without even the vinegar with it. That's delicious. Yeah. 
What we'll be having is the sticky rice with mascovado. So there's three ways of you on how you make that. Uh, it's either uh, you pour the chocolate um, over the rice or you uh, scoop the rice and dip it in uh, and then dip it in chocolate or uh, you eat it and drink it separately. It's up to you. There is coconut milk or something in the sticky rice, isn't there? Uh, that's good. I really don't think you need the sugar either, but let's try. But did you try it with the sugar? How did it do? Yeah, it's good. Is it, is it too much? or I need like a little bit of the sugar needed. That's got already the coconut coming through. Oh, yeah. You are correct. All right. So I'm watching Alice and George here. They're sitting here all pros while I'm trying to get myself set up with a camera. They're taking the rice and they're dipping it into the little tub of hot chocolate here. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Mm. Now, that is like a dark chocolate. I heard you guys saying it. You're absolutely right. That is delicious. I'm telling you guys now, I'm already miserable. I'm full and I'm a little bit miserable. <laughs> Coconut wine. Two bucks. Two bucks? Yes. Like the instrument. Two bucks. Two bucks. It's very sour. Oh, that's bitter. That's good. That's pretty damn bitter. Are you a fan? It's quite bitter. And sour. Yeah, sour. I'll get too drunk too quickly. I want to take a moment to thank George and Alice for being great sports and not flinching when the cameras were rolling. And of course, Prue for being such an amazing guide and introducing us all to Cebuano street food. Now, on the next week's video, I'm so excited to show you all the classic Cebuano foods that I got to try while hanging out with locals. It was such a unique and authentic experience, and I can't wait to share it with you all. Stay tuned for that, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming adventures.